plant fam welcome back to my channel if you are new here my name is Jacqueline this is part of my jungle and if you're not new here thank you for coming back I appreciate you for still being here so Today I have some plant chores to do. Mostly we have to water like everything and I have some propagating to do. So that is what is on my list of things to get done today, starting with my greenhouse. So I'm gonna get in there and do my weekly check up on everything, water everything, clean what needs to be cleaned, and then we're gonna move down to the white shelves, then I have the shelves in the bedroom, and then um, all of my hanging baskets need to be watered as well. I probably won't get to all of them in one day, but we're gonna at least do some of them today. So, Let's get into the greenhouse and see what's going on. Okay, so here we are. Here is what everything is looking like in here. Looks like most most things are doing okay. We've got some new growth happening on a lot of plants. Still nothing on the Monstera elbow here. Probably need to give it a nice uh, fertilize, fertilizing, I have fertilizer in my, in my water jug, so we're good. We're gonna fertilize it. <laughs> um, my, the newest leaf on my squammy I accidentally broke off while it was unfurling, so that's unfortunate, but, um, totally fine because this thing is massive and I don't know what to do with it. We're gonna have some old leaves to take off and get rid of here today. It's kind of just part of what we're doing but these are the newest um hoya that i repotted with you guys in my live stream so i have just these three i thought there were only two but apparently there's three three more trays of hoya that need to be um repotted and cleaned out some of them are not hoya this is an african violet that's kind of just like squished up in there um but yeah, looks like everything's doing okay. My pink princess needs, it needs the chop, you guys. It's not, um, it's not doing well. It needs the chop. So <laughs> that's a thing that we're gonna be doing like in a separate like standalone video cause that's kind of just like a thing. But um, yeah, we're, we're gonna, we're gonna water everything and that's really, that's really it. <laughs> Okay, so everything here has been watered. I just, I actually forgot to show you. My Hoya Matilde is about to bloom and I'm very excited. This is one of my favorites um, and it's got lots of new growth on it. Also, I did show you the Huernia Lifesaver Cactus 
also put out another bloom uh, when I bought it it had one over here and then I just noticed the other day that it opened up another one on the other side it's got some new growth here so like I'm assuming it's a happy plant my cat made a snack out of this Hoya leaf that's fine but what I also wanted to do today was take care of this mandula because it's kind of just getting a little bit too bottom heavy we've got some empty nodes right here and David and I have really been wanting to put this up on a pole and try and get it really nice and big so this is one of his plants actually um, look at that new leaf isn't that gorgeous and it's one of his favorites but look at how long it is so it's just kind of getting out of control and I don't feel like it really looks great here like this anymore so I'm going to cut it right here we're gonna propagate we're gonna get one of these if not both of these top cuttings going up a pole we will root up the mid cuttings and plant them back into the top of the plant I feel like it might need to be repotted once the cuttings are ready to because this pot actually doesn't have drainage um, but it's been happily growing in here for a really long time now so but um, I do think that it's it's time to cut this plant and then we'll be able to see this uh, ficus that hides underneath it all the time finally so these shelves are definitely still like a work in progress for me I've been shifting things around if you can't tell I added a, a Hoya up there um, and just kind of been trying to get these looking the way that I want them to they're not quite there yet actually not even close <laughs> but it is what it is so let's get some scissors and cut this baby okay I look crazy because I was like sweating up in the greenhouse and my hair needed to go up but let's give this the big chop finally so I'm just I'm gonna take like all of this here if you can see it's all empty so I'm just gonna cut it up like pretty high up into the pot and then you're gonna be able to see how many empty nodes we really had before the plant even like started to have leaves on it so now we have these two big <laughs> beautiful mandula cuttings that I am going to propagate I suppose so we're just like I said gonna take like the tops of these and then the rest I'll just kind of like throw in water and get it to root up this plant is really easy I am gonna cut this though this is unnecessary all these empty notes um, this plant is really easy to propagate if for any reason you've never propagated before um, which I doubt for like my usual viewers but if you are a newer viewer and you are a newer plant parent a newer subscriber here um, first of all say hi let me know that you subscribed I always enjoy that um, seeing that you guys are enjoying my videos and that you just found me um, so basically you just need nodes like I can grow a plant from each one of these nodes a let's do like a quick little a quick little um, science lesson here so you have stems these are stems you have petioles the petiole is the part that comes off from the stem that holds the leaf. So this is a leaf, and this is a petiole, this is the stem. Where the petiole meets the stem, you have a node. And sometimes, especially on pothos, you'll be able to see this little like aerial root. Sometimes it's called an advent adventitious, adventitious, big words root <laughs> it basically just means that it can become a root um and that these plants are also epiphytic so another word in case you didn't know epiphyte means that these plants will attach to other plants usually trees but they are not parasitic so they don't harm the plant that they attach to and a lot of the times you'll see these um 
raised up like nodes on plants that are epiphytes because they are going to use that to attach their roots to the tree usually or other plant that it's growing on. So that is why we actually want to get these growing up a pole because as they grow the leaves will continue to get bigger and some pothos i think mostly epipremnum aureum varieties like marble queen and golden pothos can get fenestrated once they get larger but i haven't seen a mandula get fenestrated this is um like a more hybridized pothos variety so i'm not exactly sure um but the leaves like i said can get really big and really beautiful and that is what we would like to do with this plant so yeah that's pretty much it I have some other plants that I want to chop and I can show you one of them really quickly this is my philodendron brazil it's actually also technically david's i'm going to move you back um so that you can maybe see it a little bit better there are some sad leaves i waited a little bit too long to water it this plant is just very like bottom peppy a lot of these vines are wrapped around um as you can see they kind of don't have ends they kind of just loop so what I'm thinking I'm going to do to kind of revive this plant because David is like, I'm fine to get rid of it. And I'm like, not fine to get rid of it because it's kind of sentimental when you've had a plant for this long. Um, he doesn't get emotionally attached to the things the way that I do, but I got rid of my original Brazil. It did not do well after a while. It got neglected as I got like more and more plants and it was fighting for like window space. Um, so like, I just don't want that to happen again because that was really heartbreaking. I really love that plant. It was one of my first plants. Um, and I just really want to restore this babe back to her former glory. So I'm literally going to give her a bob. Like she's, she's going to be bobbing it, bobbing and weaving. And we are going to propagate her and do the same thing as we're going to do with the mandula, which is repot her and just put the propagations back in the top in hopes to get this plant looking full and lush again and not so like straggly and bare at the top. This happens. You guys have seen me do this with my neon pothos countless times. I'm literally always, I've got propagations in water now. I'm always propagating it and then putting the, the pieces back into the top of the plant. So that is what I would like to do with this philodendron Brazil, just not today, because I don't know where I'm actually even going to put all of the propagations, but we will be doing this um, together soon. If that's something that you are interested in seeing, um, because this is just sad. It just doesn't, it doesn't look good. It doesn't look good at all. So definitely propagate your plants cut them back regularly especially this time of year um they really like it it helps them grow it helps them be more full and lush which we love we love a lush plant right so you guys that's really it for this video i don't have like a ton of exciting things to do with you today um i just wanted to take you along with me while i got scissor happy on this manjula because it is in the background you guys see it all the time um that you're gonna notice now in videos moving forward that uh that's dangerous let me not do that <laughs> that um this plant's not gonna be here so we'll actually be able to see this one i gotta clean off the cat hair this is a ficus audrey um also david's plant a lot of these are like his plants like this succulent here there's a peperomia his bamboo a lot of these snake plants and cacti and stuff down here are his as well um, even this gorgeous chelsea is technically his plant there are plants um, they're basically my i'm the one who takes care of them he's hasn't watered a plant since i moved in 
So um, that is it for this video, you guys. I hope you enjoyed hanging out with me today. If you did, you should definitely give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you don't miss anything from me. There's a join button down there if you want to be part of the official plant fam. Get yourself some perks and some extra content. I have a members only video coming out tomorrow. The bedroom door is closed and my cat is like freaking out. So I gotta go and open it for him. I'm coming, bub. I'm coming, okay? <laughs> um, there's a super thanks button if you want to super thanks me. Everything is appreciated. You know I can't do this without you. I love you so, so very much. I hope you're having a beautiful day. It's hot and sunny here in Connecticut. Um, wherever you are in the world, let me know in the comments below where you're watching from. Um, leave me some emojis. Let me know what the weather is like for you today. For me, it's hot and sunny, <laughs> um, which is fine. I'm just like also kind of sweating. I don't know why I'm wearing a sweatshirt. Anyway, I love you guys so, so very much, and I hope I see you in the next one. Bye.